So, Jack, um, let's talk about our man Cristiano Ronaldo, the GOAT, as many people say. But before I say anything further about Ronaldo, guys, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. It's really, really important yeah. to grow this channel. If you, if you think Ronaldo is the GOAT, like and subscribe this video. If you don't think he's the GOAT, like and subscribe. Simple as. If you're a Messi, fa if you're a Messi fan, <laughs> subscribe if you don't like Ronaldo. Right? If you like Ronaldo, subscribe. Yeah, exactly. um, Cover all bases. <laughs> but um but yeah guys let's yeah let's get into ronaldo and i think lately i've been seeing a lot of dis disrespect to ronaldo's name the fact of the matter is you see what's going on with manchester united you, like you see the fact that he's been on the bench you know he's been ostracized from the team and i've been seeing a lot of ronaldo sl slander and and, and and it's understandable he isn't this player that he once was but it also hurts me at the same time because the way people talk about cristiano ronaldo we we forget the magnificent and the outrageous, amazing stuff Ronaldo used to do. The fact that people look at him just being a goal scorer and a poacher and all this sort of stuff there, it's like that's the way that they label his whole career, just a goal scorer. When I remember going up and seeing this guy able to pick the ball up deep in his own half and just run by six, seven, eight, nine, ten players, able to score 40, 50 yard goals, everything he had in his locker, one of the greatest football players of all time. And Jack, with all the disrespect that's going on with him, for Ronaldo's legacy, is it better for Ronaldo to just retire after the World Cup? It, if if they win the World Cup, I'm going to say, yeah, of course. Well, <laughs> no questions well, asked. Go, go out, go out, you know, into the sunset, uh, you know, salute everybody, see you later. Go out winning the World Cup after having won the Euros, Nations League, having all these accolades, individual awards highest scorer ever what all this kind of stuff absolutely i don't think portugal will um and you know i have them as my biggest disappointment for this coming world cup whether that happens will, kind of remains to be seen here to a certain extent but i think james that he he can still win uh but he needs to be in the perfect situation for him to win which i guess we can talk about a little more going forward but but that's that's my biggest issue for him at the moment he, this is not the same guy who can go to any team and just have the biggest impact score loads of goals and just he can't do that anymore and we're seeing that with manchester united i do think top level teams exist that could benefit from and use cristiano ronaldo but this is we are not in the days where cristiano ronaldo could just play for any team and make teams better a lot of top teams james if he starts for them he makes them worse and manchester united is one of them at the moment they are worse with him than without him uh, again i i find it hard to say but you, you can clearly see that i think ronaldo is ronaldo his role as a football player has always been to star. Always been that we everything goes through me going forward. Yeah, we play to get me on the ball because I can produce. And it's the first time in his career where you're not trying to get the ball to him in certain situations and he's not truly the main man. And then when you look at the rest of Europe, Jack, could you imagine Ronaldo 10 years ago, Ronaldo was a free agent? You oh. know, like, could you imagine the madness that would go on? The fact that now where he is right now even as of almost like a free agent no one really is willing to take a punt on cristiano i listen i find it people say i find it crazy you shouldn't ronaldo's hitting 38 years of yes. age really and, he's just... and, and there's miles on those legs yeah. this is not a guy who's been a part-timer for for his career this guy has played a lot of football matches yeah. rooney just hit 37 and i seen his birthday was yesterday <laughs> rooney has been retired for almost three four yeah. years now man yeah. looks about 55 like, listen honestly. it's crazy but ronaldo yeah. still wanted to go and i feel like that's also a detriment to cristiano ronaldo with to the point of view yes he can still go and but because we have been spoiled to what ronaldo has been his whole career this dazzling football player it's now cool to laugh at him like listen right. people just understand like Henri wasn't pretty coming to the end. R9 wasn't pretty coming to the end. Ronaldinho wasn't pretty. And not, not, not too many players have the humility, the humility to go out at the right time. And right. maybe Cristiano Ronaldo will suffer from that. He's not willing to go to America like, let's say, an Henri or like Ronaldo or, or R9 and yeah, Ronaldo really? is and, and go back to Brazil and just right. kind of have a chill career. Ronaldo still wants to be challenging for Ballon d'Ors and, and trying to win Champions Leagues. And maybe that's a detriment to him. And this is and this is why we look at people talk about Ronaldo in this sort of manner. I hope once he does retire that he can be celebrated the way he should be because, Jack, this is arguably the greatest football player we've ever seen. Oh. But, but, but James, I you know oh, th this is what I look at, right? The team's running yards on average without him 
um, is significantly more in a team that's very, very heavy on the amount of distance that you cover. We all saw the story about Manchester United had to run the 12K difference that they ran instead of, I think it was Brighton, Brentford or whoever they whoever they lost to, right? Um, the points per game as well. This was a, a, a something that Sky put out recently. Um, in the games without Cristiano Ronaldo, Manchester United averaged 2.25 points per game, which is really good, unbelievably good. With him, it's 0.5 points a game. And, and and I remember the Roy Keane argument that he had with Gary Neville and um, uh, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, right? And Roy Keane was talking about, yeah, but he gets your goal. And it's like, yeah, but at what cost? If you lose a game 2-1 or 3-1, I mean, at what cost does Ronaldo getting you a goal matter? Because they're going to win without him. This is why my issue, James, is he very. it's very difficult to sell to a football team. It's going to cost you loads of money. And your team as a whole is going to be worse if he's in your team. And that's the, the case for a lot of teams. If you need that finished product up top, who can just, when he gets a chance, he will score. Like James, I know it sounds silly, but I look at the Portuguese connection. If Ronaldo is okay to kind of humble himself a little bit, like Wolves would be a great option. If he takes a massive, massive pay cut, Wolves need a goal scorer, final product person. He could go to Wolves and be that person. It's never going to work for him at Manchester United, especially with Eric Ten Hag at the helm. You mentioned the points tally. If I remember straight last year, Manchester United did not win a game with with um with Ronaldo out of the starting lineup. Right. You know, and this season, but James, it's, it's a new ma- it's a new yeah, manager though. It's, it's, it's a, a new, new manager, manager, but it's also been a small sample size with Cristiano Ronaldo, where he's played like four games, and Jack, two of them were at the start of the season when Manchester United stunk it up with or without. Right. Remember, they like Jack, they lost the first game to Brighton with Ronaldo not in the starting lineup. So the way that they skew the points total is, of, of course, is to make Ronaldo look bad. When you look at last mm. season, Jack. Man United didn't win a game without him, but I just feel like that's sort of the way people look at it right now. Oh, the guy doesn't ruin, the guy doesn't do this, the guy doesn't do that. I'm like, listen, the hardest thing to do in football is score goals. And yes, Ronaldo, right. I think he's struggling in front of goal a little bit. But I think that that is, to me, the most craziest thing anybody can ever tell me. Oh, I want somebody that's going to run a lot. Cool. You go have your runner. I want somebody who has the ability to put the ball in the back of the net. That's why players like Lionel Messi is so great because he walks around a little bit, but once it's time to show, he's there. And that's why Ronaldo's been great his whole career. Yeah, he doesn't run around a lot, but again, kids, not everybody has the luxury to be a Cristiano Ronaldo and and like Lionel Messi. These are one in a million football players. Yeah, but I never never buy the argument that, oh, we run around and this and that because to me, that sort of stuff right there is a bit lame. To me, running like 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 running stats doesn't win you anything. Real Madrid wins, when they won the treble, they didn't guarantee they they, they they probably didn't run the craziest amount of amount. It's, it's a stats. Smart. It's a stats game though. I think that's that's the idea. The, the more the more sprints you have, the more runs you have, the more closing down you have. You increase your total chances for dispossessing the team in in in, in high areas, and then you increase your chances to score. And then if you increase your chances to score, you increase the chances of of actually scoring. And that's kind of the way they play. That's why. The match at Manchester United is appalling. It's absolutely appalling. The, the, the match between Eric Ten Hag, Ronaldo, and, and the way the team is trying to do it at the moment is absolutely terrible. The issue for Cristiano Ronaldo is the teams that he fits at the moment for what he brings to the side and what they want him to do is very, very small. And as each day, month, year passes, it gets less and less and less. What's his level of humility? Because I think it's pretty low. And his level of humility is what I'm talking about from a standpoint of, like you said, James, does he lower himself and go to Sporting Lisbon? Does he lower himself and go to the MLS? Does he go to Saudi Arabia? How how does this play out for him? My comparison that I keep using is a Zlatan Ibrahimovic type. Zlatan Ibrahimovic's body is, is letting him down big time at the moment. Not in any small part due to the fact he's he's, he's getting up there to, towards Jackie's 40 41. years old. <laughs> right, exactly, 41, exactly. So again, that's the way I think Ronaldo needs to start living his career a little bit. He needs to take ownership of that. Be a substitute for a great team. Come on when it's 1-1 and be the headline taker in the last 10 minutes of the game. He, James, he could do that till he's 45. But does he have the ability to swallow the fact he's not a starter for a top team anymore? He doesn't fit in with what other people want to do. I don't know. And that's where I think the problem is going to be. Because James, Man United want rather him. He wants out. But there's no team that's coming in for him. And that's the biggest problem. Is he going to be able to swallow his pride? Uh, listen, I, I I feel like that's the biggest thing, having Ronaldo to kind of look in the mirror and realise, listen, I'm not the same guy. Yes, I can still contribute at a high level. And, I, and, and we all agree, Ronaldo can still contribute at a high level. But what team is willing to take that opportunity to have him come in? Because you know, Jack, listen, 
Ronaldo walks down the tunnel. Ronaldo chews a, a bit of gum. Yeah, he, he he slips over, and it's all around the news. And does the team yeah. want that sort of publicity around them? That that's a big thing. But and James, f- final thing here as well, just from me, you can't have the highest paid paid player in the league be a substitute. It's not possible. So again, it's another pride thing. He's going to have to take a major pay cut if he's not even in the starting eleven for these for these teams. Because because you know that's the highest paid player at Manchester United right now, and he doesn't start football matches. And, and Ronaldo does want to be the highest paid player in the Premier League. He wants to be the highest paid player in the world because he's well. <laughs> right. Ronaldo. But guys, tell me what you think. Should Ronaldo retire? And is there a place for him in football? Is there a top level football team who's going to take a point on Ronaldo? Guys, comment down below. We're, we're talking about Ronaldo like he's Russell Westbrook. Right? Jack, it's crazy. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. I know, it's crazy. But like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. We'll see you next time, guys.